good people welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to take you on a tour of the monastery i don't know <laughs> where that is but i've only seen it on habesha traveler's videos today she's decided to bring me to one so we're going to have a boat ride to be honest this is one of the most beautiful cities i've been to it's so beautiful so clean so green the people are super friendly and i just can't wait to explore it like i mentioned earlier this city gives me the vibe of kisumu kenya because of the lake anyway let's go make sure you hit the like button share and subscribe let's do this so first i'm going to give you an experience driving through this beautiful city this is one of the most beautiful cities i've visited in africa let me know what you think about this <music> Habesha traveler, say hi. I heard is the lake. There we go. Wow. Look at this. We have a nice boat. And then we get fun. It's a beautiful boat. It is, and we have it all to ourselves. We have the whole boat to ourselves, so we yeah. can start the party. Do <laughs> you have cold drinks or what? What's this for? box for? I don't know. Open it. Let's see. Okay, let's see what this box, box is for. It's empty. No, from the top. No, not there. Oh, so we're leaving the shore of Tana Lake, Lake Tana. And that is our captain. Hello. <laughs> and guess what? We have the whole boat to ourselves. is such a very beautiful city look at that if you've been to kisumu kenya let me know if this doesn't give you kisumu vibes and that's a beautiful girl the city comes with a gun <laughs> But Habesha Traveller can tell us better. This is the monastery. Welcome. Hike. I can't even read it. She's getting our ticket. Uh, it's 154 Me? foreigners. Yeah. And, and uh, 
locals. Thirty for locals. Okay. I mean, literally, I don't really have to pay. Yeah. But I want to support. Okay. So thirty bear is nothing. Okay. Or one hundred fifty is also nothing. Because they are in the middle of nowhere. As you can see, yes. <laughs> the only money that they make is by people who come here uh -huh. and uh, with the, you know, like the things that they make inside the monastery, like these things. Yeah. Oh, they make this inside. Yeah, they make these here. Okay. So. This one is in Tosi Jesus. It's a women's monastery. Okay. So, for those who don't know, what is a monastery? <laughs> a monastery is when people decide they don't want to live in the, you know, in the world of crazy, how do you call it? Evil, know. in quote. Well, no, I wouldn't call it evil because yeah. I live in that world. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the, I don't know, in the busy life of uh -huh. whatever, you know, like uh, Alam. Alam, we call it Alam, no? Alam Ayri Hewitt. Alam Ayri Hewitt is, uh, so there's Alam Ayri Hewitt and Memphis Ayri Hewitt. Alamari Hewat is the one that we live and Memphisari Hewat is a spiritual life. So the people who wants to decide to live Alamari means worldly life and want to live in a spiritual world, they live everything that they have, luxury and everything, and they come in a monastery to live here, serve the church and, and do prayers. So the women who come here are, there are women who have become a, a monks or nuns since they were children and they're virgins and there are women who are living in the world like you and me and then they decided they don't want the worldly life anymore so they come and they live here like they drop everything and they decide to come here and they worship and they live here and uh, yeah they make things like that for the monastery mm -hmm. and uh, yeah basically their life is prayers and uh, making little things because the major the main thing is prayers so since they are far away from here yeah. i mean as human beings we need to survive we need to eat we need to get yeah. so how do they get food how yeah, do they that's why they work like the work that they do is like they as you can see they uh -huh. have this so uh -huh. they do a little bit of farming uh -huh. they cultivate their own food uh -huh. and they also do like some type of these works like handcraft stuff yeah. and they sell it and like you and me when tourists come they make money out of that mm -hmm. and then with that money they'll buy oil salt and sugar and things like this that they need or some things to fix up the monastery uh, or things like this you know okay yeah thank you for the info you're welcome <laughs> it's very beautiful look it's beautiful <laughs> After Habesha Traveller explaining to us what happens in a monastery, let's take a tour inside the monastery. First, we're going to be very observant because I really don't know what goes on here, but I'll be filming a lot about her and everything that goes on in this place. Let's do this. So I noticed at the entrance when she was about to walk into the monastery, the building itself, she prayed and also when we got to the entrance, she also prayed again before the monk came to receive us. This was in 1314. <laughs> This was built in 1314. Uh, even though this is um, a women's monastery, the women can go inside the church to do the prayers. So it's the man who, that's why there is men priests here to do the prayers. Paintings are done in a way so people who don't know how to read uh -huh. could look at the paintings and understand. So it's, uh, it's telling a story of the Bible. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like there's a, Wait, let me see. There is the story of the crucifixion. Yeah. You know, when he died, the way they buried him. Mm -hmm. You know, like the the life of uh, Adam and Hewan. So these different entrances, this is for women. And on the opposite side, the door there, that's for men. 
and we have more paintings here what's so beautiful what i like about it is that they are so ethiopian the people the hair everything they looks they look so ethiopian which is really nice so let me show you around this beautiful place and you don't get in with shoes as you can see we are all stepping down which Bible story is this? This one I've never seen. I can't remember this one. Anyway, it's um, Saint Bartholomew's story. Uh, look at the, all these bells all over around the building. King Harold was killing lots of children uh -huh. because he thought like the king, uh, king of kings, or like Jesus Christ was born. So yeah, so he wanted to find that child that was born. So he thought like he would take away his place. So he started killing all the children. So these bells is to represent those kids and their sounds. Uh, so every time there is a win, they go click, 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 and it represents those children that was murdered by this king. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. So we just left the first monastery and yeah, learned a lot. So we're now going to check the second monastery. Let's go. That's the ladies' monastery, the women's monastery. And we're now getting into the men's monastery. It's called Kibran Saint Gabriel Unity of Monastery. That one. Let's get in. going to the museum because this is a men's monastery we're not allowed inside the church the church so how many monasteries did you say are in there like i heard you said 30 that's surprising yeah uh -huh. but i haven't been to say uh-huh let's take off your shoes We're going? Okay, so we're getting inside the museum. Pictures without flash. Okay. Sixteen seventy-four. Wow. Nice. There is a lot of history preserved in these museums at the monastery and more so in terms of the Orthodox religion. So I'm going to show you some of the artifacts that they have stored in this monastery. I can't be able to show you everything, but I'm just going to give you a glimpse of the items that can be found in this place. So if a monk does what he's not supposed to do outside of the rules, mm -hmm. he gets tied with this with this wood. Mm -hmm. So they put his legs like as you can see mm -hmm. here. They yeah. put him like this depending mm -hmm. on his crime. Mm -hmm. uh, depending The time depends on his crime. If it's a little crime then maybe it's uh, unbegun. <laughs> From 7 to 40 days mm -hmm. depending on his crime. Wow. Yeah. So when they have something to announce to people, mm. they will hit that. Bam, bam. So there was a king uh, from Gojam named Taglai Amano, so this was his bed when he comes here. And the, fa uh, the reason why it's two layers is when, he's, when, when it's like a fasting time, 
the man and the woman don't sleep together. So the king will sleep up and the woman will sleep under this. So they, since they are both in one, since they are married couple, but still mm -hmm. different, they get one bed, but to sleep separate. Okay. Yeah. Well, so in the men's monastery, we couldn't go to the church because it's a men, it's a men's monastery. Uh, we were able to go into the museum back there, and now we're going to go to another monastery. It's quite interesting because this place bears a lot of historical information. And yeah, if you're in Baghdad, I mean, you can consider visiting this place. It's very beautiful, and while at it, you can actually take like a boat and enjoy the views of the city as you get to see these monasteries. And for people who've never known or seen what a monastery is like, it would give you an idea of what it is and be able to understand more about Ethiopian religion, the Orthodox church religion. So we are approaching the third monastery oh, and the city looks beautiful from this point. There, 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 there. Yeah, got it. Oh, yeah. So on to the third monastery. That's gonna be the last monastery of the day. You have dimples. <laughs> so this one is not in an island, is it? This. Is it attached to land? Okay, or it's like, yeah, it's, this one is its own, its own. Oh, it's just a small distance to the mainland. You want to, to buy one of these? I bought yesterday. Mm. This. Uh. No, they're all different islands. Ah, they're all different islands. Nothing is attached to like all the places that we went. They're on, they're on their own. Like you can walk here. So all monasteries are in islands. Not all, uh -huh. but the ones that we went to. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, so there are some monasteries on land. Of course, there are monasteries on land. Okay. <laughs> and they have like uh, now it's closed, but I think that one. They have like a little cafeterias and stuff and if you want to buy some things they have shops here. Mm -hmm. they that people try to make uh, a living, living as they can with their tourists, you know? Yeah. And then here like you can have like traditional drinks like edge and stuff. Uh-huh. Here also, you see? Oh yeah. Tej is the honey one. Yes, you can have honey wine here. Uh-huh. And then you can buy lots of souvenirs. souvenirs, incense. Oh, this is incense. Yeah, like if you want to buy like souvenirs, then you can do it from here. Because okay. that's how the locals try to uh, earn a living. Yeah, of course, you know. Because there's a lots of tourists that come here. Mm -hmm. And um, this one is very close to land. To land. Mm -hmm. So lots of tourists, if they don't want to go to all of these uh, places they just come here mm -hmm. and then they do this one only and then they go back okay. it's a short ride right yeah but, but if you take it will be nice like if you do the others as well okay. at least two more you know like this one this monastery is like for men and women uh -huh. and we've seen one for only men and one for only women so it's great yes, yes. So we're now getting into the monastery itself. Yes. So like over there, there are like little houses <laughs> for the monastery people and people who come here. Okay. You see this this monastery also have those this, little bells yeah. to represent the kids. Bueno, the infants. Yeah. Oh. 
before they moved it here. Oh, so this is the museum. Yeah, because before it was over there. Mm -hmm. And then it was like in a small window, broken place. Mm -hmm. Now they moved it here and I'm very curious to see as well because I haven't been. Oh, it's a newly built one. Apart from learning a lot of Ethiopian and Orthodox history in these monasteries, it's also believed that when you visit this monastery, your seven generations will be blessed. Well, that's one of the reasons why you should consider visiting these monasteries should you be in Baghdad. This one was in the 14th century. Yeah. They are old ones, like yes, super old. And, and they're all made out of uh, like uh, goat skin, brown. Uh, ah. It's made out of skin. Goat skin. Yeah. You have it here. They put it here as a display. Yeah. It's goat skin. It's not regular paper. No. This one is lighter. Wow. So we're leaving the last monastery behind there. There and we got some food from the girls, from the kids. And of course wa water, water, which is called wa. Why do you say wa? What's wa? How do you call water? Water. No, in Amharic. Wuha. Okay, that's what I was trying to say. So we got some okay, wuha. <laughs> we got some wuha and mango. And let me try it. So we got some wuha and mango. So I'm gonna try some mangoes here. Oh, I love the sun. I love how it's kissing me all the time. These are my best kisses ever. Come from the sun. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you truly enjoyed it and you learned something new. Let me know what you learned in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe. As we always say, sharing is caring. And until next Super time, vibes. ciao. We have such places where people sit. Are you ready? To eat fish. I'm super excited. Are you ready to have some lunch? Because of we haven't course. eaten anything of all day. Of course. It's uh, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Whew, so finally we are back to land <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you so much huh? coffee ceremony here Okay, although I appreciate that they've planted trees, trees, so you basically, because this city is hot yeah. in some days, so you'll be under a shade. Yes. What's, what's this and this? This is? This one is dulet and uh -huh. this one is fir, fir Fir is injera on injera? No, no but this one is fish fir, fir. Fish fir, fir. So this is fish on fish. Oh, fish on fish. <laughs> fish on fish on injera. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but it's delicious, you see. Okay.